Well, yeah, that's, uh, unification doesn't equate to unity, but we want to have the platform yeah, to right. unify content so that they can make act active decisions. Exactly, yeah. Positive, yes. active yes. decisions. Because so, people yeah. think that unification is unity right away. It's no, not. No, no, like no. what you're doing. Exactly. See, this is exactly. transparent. This is... Here. Uh, if a country cannot put its content together, what can you expect? <laughs> Nothing. It will always be two steps. Right. Forward, uh -oh. five steps yes. backwards. Right. It's right. the blind leading the blind. Yeah. Right. So there's a vacuum of leadership. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. So right. you you're you're um what does he Mr. Laurent? Yeah. When he says to put all together the skills, the researchers yeah. and harness everything, you know, together. Right. At least in one coordinated one hand knowing what the other is doing. Mr. Santos, we also believe uh, that there's the mass of people, but that intelligentsia will lead yeah. them correct, into correct. going to the right direction. Correct. I mean, oh. we come into this direction where, of course, the uh, the general idea is to increase the middle mass. Right, right. That's the key. Yeah. You know, so the academy should be leading first. Mm -hmm. In other words, from top to down. We cannot expect to empower the down and expect results. Well, because actually, they... our idea uh, work is like this. You get uh, those on top, mm. the academe, the right. ranking guys, yes. the uh, leaders, put them together. Put it together. Yeah. However, you must consult the people below. Mm. Otherwise, they might say, hey, we're not yeah. consulting. Right. It's not right. ours. Right. Well, the key is to make it relevant to them. Yes, make it relevant. Yeah. And then they meet in the middle. And then this is where right. you have the middle canvas. Yes. Otherwise, yes. Yeah, otherwise seen, you don't have the canvas. Yet. You don't have the painting. You know, yeah. Yeah. Santos, uh, the Futuristic Association of the Philippines here to give us a little bit of uh, explanation of what the Futuristic Philippines is all about. The Futuristic Center was originally uh, incorporated in 1981 as the Philippine Futuristic Society because at that time we believed that uh, we should know exactly what's the direction of the Philippines, both as a state, as a people. You know, when it comes to the coming years, we don't know what uh, is coming. We don't know how people are reacting. The events, what lies ahead. Because if we know what lies ahead, then we can strategic, strategically plan for it. At least you know that if you're looking at the end of at, at the end of the tunnel, there is a light. That may be an onrushing train, and therefore you should know what uh, what it is. And not uh, much different from navigating a ship, a state of ship. Exactly. Ship of state. Exactly. You so must steer the ship of state clear of the rocks. Do, do you use any kind of prediction models, management models, or anything like that? To assumptions? Yes, 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 yes. yes. And uh, it's not different from what Harvard uses or our uh, RAND Corporation. Mm. Yeah, we have people who are very much experienced both as uh, surveys and pollsters, and we have economists, we have environmentalists, we have uh, politicians, political analysts. Data mining. Data. Yes, we have we have uh, mining uh, executives, we have energy uh, executives. Are your results published uh, anywhere in a publication or online uh, yet? What we do is uh, we have we have started constructing a website so that this could be uh, uh, available to everybody, and we have affiliation, working affiliation with the Futurives of France, with the Strategic Studies of, of London, with the Futurist, Futuristics Federation, uh, is it Federation Association of. of Washington. We get, we get this. Are there any international monitoring teams uh, watching uh, your uh, studies or any kind of? Uh, well, we don't know if yeah. they are watching, but yeah. they're welcome to watch, and we, we would like to network with them anytime. You know? uh, uh, personally, I am networked with the organizations like the. Uh, Clean Air mm -hmm. Asia. Uh, oh yes, that, that's one. And yeah, my cousin misses there. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we are network, you know, uh, association of uh, newspapers mm -hmm. through the Philippine Press Institute, which is one of the movers of today's exercise. Yes. Uh, <laughs> in short, this uh, things that we have, including my my teach my professorial uh, work in the Museum of the Philippines here, we tried to get this 
together that we get as much results uh, as possible. Uh, we think networking is the answer uh, in this age of information. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, disappointed in that they the general idea is to create the middle mass. Uh -huh. All middle uh -huh. mass. Yes. That's an art. How That's to do it? <laughs> it's, it's a science. If you become somebody who's already on top, you should be there and you should become president. And too much concentration of power. And become <laughs> ignorant <Okay>. and oblivious <laughs> of, of the. Yeah. Yeah. And all you want to do now is to go down yeah. and really help yeah. the people. Well, well, you see, this is, a, this is exactly the, the, the case of the Philippines because you have people on top and they in Manila. That's why the people in the provinces call Manila as Imperial Manila. They, all the planning are done in Manila. No consultative meetings with those of the law. And therefore, all those provincial governments say, okay, Manila, Imperial Manila, give me the money, I'll implement it. If it takes, not my fault. You know, that's the I think in our life, at least that are putting each other. But you see, it's a case of the culture now coming together with the people, past and present. You know how this should be, and and for us to proceed with this effort and uh, uh, these disagreements. <laughs> you, you heard of this concept of uh, to be smarter than ourselves? Uh, 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 right, right. Is there insight, an yeah. insight yeah. to be smarter than ourselves? Yeah. 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 Because what we've been doing is trying to be smart, uh, outsmart each other. But if we are smarter than ourselves, we will put our acts together. Yeah. Because, you know, ultimately we're all stockholders. That's the only yes, we also believe that uh, the Philippines has all the resources, technologically, uh, socially, to get its act together and lead the world. Yeah. Because we we are in all you know the countries, so we have a certain influence yeah. if we can get our act together. So what you're saying is we dare to be not only competitive but to lead the world. Yes. In the in the sources that we have, we have English skills. Technical skills, all in one in, in, a, in the Philippines. Yeah. Why can't we use them to lead, at least in Asia? But I'll tell you one thing else. <laughs> you know, else. Yeah. 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 JF Kennedy uh, oh, oh. devised the uh, Peace Corps. Right. Before he was thinking of that, we were talking about it. Yeah, talking about the Filipino abroad, talking mm. Filipino executives right. in international companies. Why can't we get them all together and have our own Peace Corps? That's it. That's make cool. money out of it too. <laughs> Go to the where overseas Filipino workers are and make them assets in their own in the in, in the country where they're working and make them positive uh, influence for the Philippine people. Right. Thank you for your time, sir. Appreciate it. All right. We'll communicate further. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs>